All right, so in this video, we're just going to focus on the test statistic for question 18. This problem involves marijuana users and non-users, and they're looking at the time it takes for them to complete a set of logic puzzles. They also tell us that we're to assume equal variances here. So let's look at the data for the problem. I've just taken the data from this paragraph, and I've put it separated onto a sheet of paper. So we have users and non-users. The sample size is 28, 29 for the other group. We have the different means and the standard deviations. So since we said equal variances, to do the test stat, the first thing we need to do is calculate the pooled sample variance. So here's the formula for our pooled sample variance. And we're going to let the users group be our first group. So each of these variables here, we're going to put in a little subscript of 1, 1, and 1. And this group will be the second group, so we'll put 2s next to each of those. And then we'll fill in our formula. So S p squared will be equal to n1 minus 1. To keep it simple, let's just do that arithmetic in our head. That'll be 27 here. Times s1 squared. Here's our s1. We need to square it. So we'll have 4.51 squared. Then we'll add to that 29 minus 1, or n2 minus 1, which is 28, times the standard deviation squared. So 3.98 squared. Put a fraction bar there and then do the denominator which is going to be 28 plus 29 minus 2. Now if you want to work this out all together in your calculator you should put parentheses on the top and the bottom. Let's show how that's done in the calculator. So we'll use an open parenthesis then 27 times 4 point five one squared plus twenty eight times three point nine eight squared close that parenthesis then hit divide by open a new parenthesis do twenty eight plus twenty nine minus two close that parenthesis up and press enter so you get the answer eighteen point zero four nine three etc so I'm going to take some of those decimal places down and put that on paper here. Okay, so our SP squared became 18.04934 if we use five decimal places. So now we're going to use this quantity inside our test stat formula. Okay, so here's our test stat formula. And let's go ahead and put in the quantities that we have in front of us. So it'll be t equals 2. We'll have the first x bar, 38.28, minus the second x bar, which is 25.4. Then fraction bar, the square root of. We're going to have sp squared. Now we already worked that quantity out, so we just put it in as is. 18.04934 divided by the sample size for that group which is 28 plus 18.04934 divided by the sample size 29 okay so let's type it in we'll try to do it all at once so we'll do 38 again you see I started a parenthesis in the beginning right so 38.28 minus 25.4 Close up the parentheses, divide by the square root, so I'll press second square root, and then we just put this in as we see it, so 18.04934 divided by 28 plus 18.04934 divided by 29. Close that up press enter and we get our answer 11.44 or 11.443 and that's it